Hi, my name is Mike Terravella. I'm a professor of ophthalmology at the University of Colorado. I'd like to talk to you today about my experience with the Sharp Point Endoglide by Angiotech and my experience with this using ultra-thin tissue. I'm currently working with what I term ultra-thin tissue. I define this as tissue made with a double pass technique in which we, can, we consistently are getting less than 100 microns, on average about 75 microns for this tissue thickness. The way we do this is we mount the tissue on an artificial anterior chamber, we make a cut with a microkeratome in one direction, and then we reverse the direction of the second pass. That's an important part of that process. And the reason it's important is the tissue is more planar, less wedge-shaped inside the eye. And you'll see that from these OCT images. The potential advantage of using ultra-thin tissue is better visual acuity, something that we're all striving for. The endoglide is especially useful because it's easy to load. That would be my initial experience. Unlike other techniques where I've tried, it's very straightforward to load, especially with the newer modification that is designed to work with thin tissue. The tissue tends to, you basically grab the tissue with some forceps, gently pull it into the cartridge, and as it does so, there's a, a little funnel-like entrance to the cartridge that just naturally rolls this tissue very easily right into the cartridge. It's very straightforward, and what we're seeing is there's really not a tendency to curl out like with some other methods of loading it. It just seems to curl very naturally in and load into the cartridge in a way that makes it easy to do the subsequent steps of DSEC. Once it's in the cartridge, the next step is to get it into the eye. The nice thing about the endoglide is it allows you to put it inside the eye in essentially a sealed system. So the next step after loading is to place it through approximately a four millimeter incision and then once it's in that incision, you can inflate the eye with an artificial anterior chamber maintainer. As the eye is inflated, you have a very stable system. You have a deep anterior chamber. So this can actually work with many eyes that have comorbidities, such as an anterior chamber lens or a tube shunt, eyes that may not be candidates for traditional DMEC. So this is the way we have been basically doing it. Once the cartridge is inside the eye, you can reach across with a specially designed forceps, and it's really not a long reach. It's a relatively short reach, and in my experience, easy to do. I've even trained our cornea fellows to do it, and they're able to do it even after one try. So we gently grasp the tissue, pull it in, and then pull the cartridge out of the eye. As the tissue is entering the eye, it automatically deploys. So unlike, unlike other methods, where you might be struggling to get the tissue to deploy, and this is especially true with thin tissue, the tissue just flops right open. It's not a struggle. You really, there's not a lot of manipulation of the tissue. There's not a lot of going in with a, a different device to kind of grab the tissue or stretch it apart. It almost deploys automatically. Then it's just a matter of centering it and inflating it as you would with a standard DSEC. 